Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and we will continue to, of course, examine all the options within the boot, the advanced boot options, uh, these options that you can actually uh, go to if your PC has problems. Um, one thing that I want to add, I've seen a few of you comment that you can easily go to the boot up options by holding the shift key while restarting. Uh, it works on some PCs, yes, but the reason I am showing it through the system app, the, uh, the uh, settings app, is because on some PCs it might not. And so the one, the, the option that I'm showing, even though longer, works on all computers. So um, what do we get if we click the advanced option? So we showed you that you had a few options at the beginning and that you could go into the troubleshoot options and you can go into the advanced options. Well, what happens on the advanced options? Both Windows 10 and Windows 11 have the same exact menu. So on Windows 10, you'll have startup repair, which is a place that you can go and actually diagnose what's going on and what's wrong with the startup of your PC. You have a uninstall updates where you can actually go and uninstall an update that maybe has broken your PC in some way and doesn't work well. You have startup settings. You can change a lot of things in the behavior of how your PC is going to start. You can go into your BIOS or UEFI firmware by clicking this option. You can go into the command prompt, which will, of course, give you advanced troubleshooting options. And you can, of course, go in system restore, where you can use the system restore. If yours is turned on, that means you'll be able to access restore points to go back if something went wrong, hopefully fixing your problem. So these are the six options. And if we look at Windows 11, which is the same uh, that I have here, so I'm gonna actually shut this one down. That was the Windows 10 uh, one. If I show you Windows 11, same options uh, for the advanced options. And at the bottom, there's a see more recovery option. So of course, we will go through all of this um, from time to time. What I will do in some cases is maybe, um, because as we're going through the different menu, menus and options, um, it might be easy to lose track of what you need to click to move on to there. So at the beginning of each video, as we move on from now on, I will actually give you the step-by-step -step options that need to be clicked to actually get to where we're going to show you. So uh, these are six options that are available, both on Windows 10 and 11, the same ones. And uh, we're going to show you how to, uh, you know, what each option does and go into the examination of all of that. Uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this uh, series that will uh, probably have quite a lot of videos uh, in uh, the, um, that I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll try to put them all in a playlist so you can all, um, you know, follow them on the same playlist if you wish. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching my videos.